Hello, in this video we're going to go over a very important fact that is used in math competitions. The fact is this, if a is an integer more than 1, we want to prove that a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of n minus 1 if and only if uh, m divides n. I'm going to present two different solutions. One of them requires a concept called order, which I have explained in a separate video, and the other one is a little bit of a more elementary solution. And if you stick with me to the end of this video, then I will also give you a link to a Putnam problem that uses this fact and in fact it becomes a pretty easy problem. So let's get to work. So first the definition of what order is. And again this concept and the proof of the theorem and an example is included in a, in a video that I placed the link on the upper right corner and also you can find it in the description of this video. Order of an integer a mod n is the smallest number that when you raise a to that power you get 1 mod n. The key theorem that I'm going to be using is a to the power of m is congruent to 1 mod n if and only if the order of a mod n divides m. So let's see what we are trying to do. What we are trying to do is we want to show that a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of n minus 1 if and only if m divides n. So I'll have to take order of a mod a to the power of m minus 1. So here is the solution. So the claim is order of a mod a to the power of m minus 1 is in fact m. This is not very difficult to see. And the reason is a to the power of m is in fact congruent to 1 mod a to the power of m minus 1. That's clear because a to the power of m minus 1 is divisible by a to the power of m minus 1. And if k is something between 0 and m, then a to the power of k minus 1 is less than a to the power of m minus 1, which means a to the power of m minus 1 does not divide a to the power of k minus 1. So that tells us order of a mod a to the power of m minus 1 is in fact m. m is the smallest exponent that a to that exponent gives you 1. So now, by the theorem, by the above theorem, we can say a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of n minus 1 if and only if order of a mod a to the power of m minus 1 divides this exponent. So if you think about this one as like b, then you can say a to the power of n is congruent to 1. This is equivalent to saying a to the power of n is congruent to 1 mod b. If and only if order of a mod b, which is this, divides the exponent. And that's exactly what we have. Since order of a mod a to the power of m minus 1 is m, this is the same thing as saying m divides n. So that completes the solution to this problem. With using this theorem, the problem is actually going to be pretty simple. Now, let me give you a different solution to this problem that doesn't require the understanding of order. Okay, so we're going to prove that a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of n minus 1 if and only if m divides n. So here is a different solution. First, I'm going to prove the backwards direction. That's easier. If m divides n, that means n equals m times k, which means a to the power of n minus 1 can be written as a to the power of m k minus 1. And we can in fact factor this one. If you write it down as a difference of kth powers, you can write it down as a to the power of m minus 1 times a to the power of m to the power of k minus 1 all the way to a to the power of m plus 1. So that's why a to the power of m minus 1, in fact, does divide a to the power of n minus 1. Now, to the forward direction. In the forward direction, what you can do is you can assume that m doesn't divide n and get a contradiction. So, so suppose a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of n minus 1, but m does not divide n. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down n as m times q plus r for some integers q and r with r being positive because we know that the remainder isn't 0 and less than m. 
So if you write down a to the power of n minus 1, you get a to the power of m q plus r minus 1, which is, I'm going to show that this cannot be divisible by a to the power of m minus 1. This is a to the power of m q times a to the r minus 1. Now, if you rewrite this a to the power of m q minus 1 plus 1 times a to the power of r minus 1, this portion is divisible by a to the power of m minus 1. So this is going to be a to the power of m q minus 1 times a to the power of r plus a to the power of r minus 1. Okay, so this is divisible by a to the power of m minus 1. a to the power of n minus 1 is also divisible by a to the power of m minus 1. So since a to the power of n minus 1 divides a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of n minus 1 and a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of m q minus 1. What we get is this. a to the power of m minus 1 divides a to the power of r minus 1. But r is positive and less than m, which is a contradiction. And that completes the solution to this problem. There's a Putnam problem that uses this technique. And if you use this technique, you can immediately solve the problem. I'm going to put the link in the description when it is ready. I haven't done that problem yet. But on this screen, you'll be able to see it when it is done. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. And comment below. Let me know what other types of problems you want me to work on. And I will see you in another video.